Hi everybody, welcome to another video. So as you know, in this video we are going to discuss this pattern. We are going to write a C program and also we, are, we will draw a flowchart to print this pattern. So without wasting any time, let us start by writing the code. So if you watch the previous video, you have got, you would have got the idea of how we write the pattern program in C. So if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch it. So this is the header file that we've written. Then we will write the main function and then we will declare n because we need to take uh, the number of rows from the user that we have to print in the pattern. If the user enters three, we have to print these three rows. If the user enters two, we have to print this much pattern, these two uh, rows. If the user enters four, five, six, n number of rows, that's how we will uh, accordingly we will write. So we will take n from the user. It will be the user's choice, right? So we will write, we'll give the command to in the uh, screen to the user that enter the number of rows. Okay. And then what we are going to do, we will scan the value n. So here we have input the n, right? And then we do nesting in patterns. We do nesting. So the outer loop is the same that we did in the previous code. We'll discuss it. So this is for the number of rows we are going to print, right? And then we have an inner loop that will go till i. And then what we will do? We'll print. If you watched my previous video, you would know that in this video, in the previous video, we discussed this pattern. So if you watch this video, you would know that the, uh, the loops that we are using here, it's exactly the same. The same loop we are using here, i loop, j loop, it's the same as we use here. But here we are printing j, the only difference is here we are printing j because we need this kind of a pattern. Okay, because J starts as a fresh loop. J always starts with one. The inner loop starts as a fresh loop every time the outer loop condition is true. Right? That's why we print J here. Now here, I will always increment. That means we need to print here the value of I, not J. So, we will simply print here the value of I. So, it was very simple. If you watched the previous video, you, you don't even have to watch this video any further because you would have understood it. So, this is how is the code. So, let us discuss the dry run. It is very simple. So, dry run. Suppose value of n is 3. The user has input the number of rows the user want is 3. Right? So, here. See the first loop. Uh, remember this condition that for every value, for every true condition of outer loop, that is this i loop, for every true condition of the outer loop, the inner loop, that means this loop will start as a fresh loop, right? This, start, this will start from 1 for every true condition of i, right? So, i is 1 initially. What is the value of i? 1. And what is the condition here? i less than equals to 3 i less than equals to n and n we have 3 right and what is the j initial value of j is 1 so 1 first of all we will check the condition 1 less than equals to 3 1 less than equals to 3 condition is true for 1 so it will get inside of the loop so here we have value of j 1 and what we have j less than equals to i this is the condition that we have for j so 1 less than or equals to 1 right i is 1 this condition is true that means it will get inside of the loop and it is printing i that means i value of i is 1 that means it will print 1 right and then it will again check the value of i j will increment value of j will be 2 now so 2 less than equals to i that means 2 less than or equals to 1 condition is false it will come out of the loop and this black slash n command will move the cursor to the next line right then we will again come to this loop outer loop i will be i plus 1 that means i will be 2 now 2 less than or equals to 3 condition true it will get inside of the loop value of j is 1 again b 
because as I told you the uh, inner loop will always start as a fresh loop so value of j will be 1 so 1 less than equals to 2 1 less than or equals to 2 condition is true right so it will get inside and it will print i what is the value of i 2 so it will print 2 again it will increment j will be 2 here j plus plus 2 2 less than or equals to 2 condition true then again i will print print i that means 2 then j value again will increment by 1 that means j is now 2 plus 1 that is 3 3 less than or equals to 2 condition false it will come out of the loop the cursor will move to next line and again we will go for the outer loop condition i is i plus 1 now i is now 3 right 3 less than or equals to 3 3 is equals to 3 that means this condition is true it will come out and j will again start from 1 right so 1 less than equals to i is 3 right so 1 less than or equals to 3 condition true it will print i i is what 3 so it will print 3 again value of j will increment right this increment operator will uh, make the value of j by increase the value of j by 1 that means value of j is now 2 so 2 less than or equals to 3 condition true so again 3 will print i will print right then value of j will be 3 now increment by 1 again 3 less than or equals to 3 condition true again 3 will print again the value of 3 uh, j will be 4 4 less than or equals to 3 condition is false right so it will come out of the loop it will not print i again it will come out of the loop and it will move the cursor to another line and again the value of i will be checked i plus plus i is now 4 4 less than or equals to n that means 4 less than or equals to 3 condition is false now it will come out of this loop that means here it will return 0 and the code will end that means for 3 number of rows we have this pattern so i hope you guys understood how this uh, logic works for this pattern let me quickly draw the flowchart 